First of all, you're all very welcome, and thanks for coming along. I find with the herd here, once I start to introduce silage and supplementation, the whole thing starts to unravel on me. So the target for me is to keep out forage out as long as possible, and we just have grass. So that's the plan for this farm for the back end. Every extra day we can keep the cows out grazing. It's worth one euro eighty. So that's that's the challenge for us. Uh, so the objective today is uh, feed. Uh, Final final on today is feed the animal from grazed grass, close the farm up properly, set it up for next spring, uh, and set up the pastures for early spring grass. There's 170,000 worth of feed grown on this farm, on this 62, the milking platform. So it's up to Larry to utilise. That's what the grass is worth. Right? So I, I, the back calculation, you grew 14 tonne per hectare, every tonne of grass is worth 200 euro per tonne. The last round starts today, and we're going to talk about, we're setting it up for the first round. So it's the 5th of October to the 5th of April, which is six months. That's the plan that we're going to make today, sets the farm up for the next six months for two grazings, right? So we know this, today the last grazing is worth 12,000, over 12,000. There's a ton of grass. Ned said there's a ton of grass on every hectare, 62 hectares multiplied by 200. It's worth 12,000. That's the feed that we're going to manage to get the best of until the middle of November or whenever this stops. That's what he's trying to maximise. Grass 10 is it's about to get Irish grass and farmers from all sectors to grow more grass, utilise more of that grass, and what are the key, the key factors that are going to influence that grass growth and how are they going to grow the most of that grass. So Richard already said it there that for every extra tonne of grass that we can utilise, it's worth more money in your pocket. And Larry has said that he wants to get most of that down the cow's mouth. How does he do that? How does he keep growing more grass? How does he bring in less feed and get more of that grass where we're standing on converted into milk to sell in the tank? So on the front of this um, little pamphlet that you got there, it just goes through the kind of the four key store corners of, of the grass tin and the main thing is grass and management and what's involved in that. We're going to talk about a, a lot of them here today, but it's it's grazing infrastructure and, and Richard has already mentioned it over there and we'll talk it a little bit more here when we're talking about the autumn planner. Soil fertility, we'll talk about that down in the, the bottom in the, in the next stand. Um, the role of grazing management, so your, your spring, your autumn and your mid-season and then reseeding new cultivars, um, clover is, is the one, clover. So bringing new systems or new reseeding cultivars into your, into your system. And someone was asking earlier, what does 10 grazing mean? So if you have every paddock on your farm, you want your cows to graze it 10 times in the year. And the more grazing that you can get from each paddock, the more grass that that's going to grow. So on the, on the back of that little pamphlet there, um, this other side of, of that, you'd see a table there, target to grow 16 ton. Um, I first sent this to, to Richard about a year and a half ago and it was 14 ton and I've added two ton onto it since. Um, the 16 ton doesn't really matter or the 14 ton doesn't really matter or whatever it may be for your farm. The important thing in that is looking at the dates and the rotation numbers in that. If we want to achieve 10 grazing rotations in your farm, or even if you're on six to get to eight, how do you get to eight? How do you get from eight to 10? How do you get from nine to 10? Where do you want to be? To look at those dates and look at the number of rotations that you need to achieve on that. And I suppose the two most important ones that Richard has already said it, it's your last rotation and your first rotation. If you don't end your first rotation on time, you're eating into the second rotation and then you're not going to get the same grazing. So if we look at that, the first target there is to have end the first rotation around the 10th or 15th of April. And if we can end our first rotation early enough in the spring, we can then get onto our second rotation and get more rotations in it. So from the, the early April until the early August, we want to get six grazing rotations in of 1,400 kilos of a pre-grazing cover. So 21 days over 120 days, roughly 10 grazings, that's six grazings, and then plus one in the spring and three more in the autumn. But what we've seen in Moor Park and from pasture base, any of the on pasture base, information is coming in, Every extra grazing that we're getting on our farm is worth 1,380 kilos, so 1,400 kilos. So if we can graze our farm one more time, it's an extra 1,300 kilos grown. If we can graze it two more times, it's two and a half ton grown, and so on and so forth. So if you get one thing from today, it's to have a farm map and try and get more grazings and set your farm up for the spring and try and get more grazings across the year to get more grass grown and get more of that to convert it onto the cows. I just explained between the 5th of April to the 5th of August is 120 days. Yeah, approximately. Yeah. And I have to get I have to get six grazing. Yeah. Why don't people get six grazing? 
But the biggest thing, if you're going on a two, that's a six grazes over 120 days in roughly on end, you're going to be between an 18 to 21 day round. You're going to have some rotations that are slightly shorter. But the, the reason most people don't get that is, number one, they don't end the first rotation in early April. If we look at pasture base, the average end date for the first rotation is closer to the first of the first of May than it is to the first of April. So that's probably the, the first reason. And then going into too high a pre-grazing cover. If you're going into too high, if it takes 21 days to get to a cover of 1500. If you're going into higher covers, you've actually lengthened the rotation length, you're gone too long, you're not utilising the amount of grass. So that's probably the biggest thing. The start date of the second round or ending the first round and keeping your rotation, your target pre-grazing yields low enough in 20 days.